Um, but basically, I, I've been in the public eye and I'm not at all used to that. Um, and so when I post online, sometimes people like to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I've written a song um, to thank those people. <laughs> it, it's called Love Song for an Incel. <laughs> and in parentheses, I think I'd get on with your mum. <laughs> yep, it's only downhill from here. Recently, the internet has become my new abode. And every time I put up a political post, I see something that catches my eye. A retweet from the sweetest kind of guy. Three little words that he goes and states, referring me to all of his mates as someone to look up to. But the words aren't, I love you. Would you bang? <laughs> That's what he said. So ignoring the fact it's not relevant And ignoring the fact I'm greatly average in bed And ignoring the disgusting sentiment Instead of a simple abuse of my autonomy He could have tried to set the fucking scene for me Tell me how we'd meet, tell me how you would treat me But since you won't give me the courtesy I'll do what must be done I reckon we would meet on the street you would catcall me from your bus stop seat You would be surprised when I in fact say Hey, I'm super flattered that you want to see my rack And I'd ask you to take me out on a date I'll leave it all to you to cultivate And I'll say, hey, could you pick me up round eight And you'll say you can't drive That's why you're at a bus station <laughs> So I rock up to your house, which is an overstatement Cause your house is your mum's and you live in her basement I wait with your mum for a while in the hallway She seems real sweet, it's a shame her son is an ashtray Links Africa, a potent aura It complements well with your sweaty fedora And as we leave for an evening I've been looking forward to I remember you've picked the venue and the menu and the seating I stole that line from Hamilton Lin-Manuel, please don't sue me When we take to our chairs amongst the popcorny air I ask what kind of film I'm in for Not surprised at all to hear it's by Tarantino As we watch you list off all the films you've seen Though you do go on to say that representation's not important And diversity has ruined all the things you enjoy And even in a hypothetical I feel unsafe <laughs> but for narrative's sake, we have to get to third base. So I get back to your house. And we dim the lights down low. Well, actually, they're off. Oh, cause the basement's not on the same circuit board, which works <laughs> out for me. Cause I don't wanna see you. Even in the dark, your chest hair really just shines through and I'm giving you all of my moves I said I'm giving you all of my moves yep yep and you're crying <laughs> I shouldn't be a dick, in a, even in a hypothetical. So I hold you while you shed tears. You say your sexual performance is one of your biggest fears. You treat women like they're objects to distract from the fact you're probably bad at sex. And while I'm empathetic, I am not an idiot. I grab my stuff and run the fuck out of the basement. But I stop to talk to your mum, because honestly, she seems fun. She doesn't seem to know That there's a sickness that exists within cyberspace Most diagnosable in patients who hide their face Hey, look around, it could be one of your mates Who tell me I shouldn't have opinions and to know my place Where, oh, it's going good uh, My first mistake, thank you very much <clears throat> Cheers, that makes me feel way better <laughs> So as a woman, if you wish to share a point of view Be aware of the shitstorm that awaits you In the 
Reddit forums, in the Twitter hashtags, in the YouTube comments, in the TikTok duets, in the Facebook feed, in the email junk box, in the Insta DMs and in the post once I was doxxed. And I am all for taking accountability. I'm happy to debate ideology. But none of that matters. He already rated me a 6.3. <laughs> So good.